In this video, we will be working on with the main GUI screen. Let's create a new Java class under the Bank System Derby packages and name that as Main GUI. Main GUI will be the first frame that will appear if the user entered a valid username and password. In our login method, in the login GUI class, instantiate the main GUI class by putting it inside the if statement of the try block. Going back to the main GUI, let's import the following classes in our program. Just the same with the previous login class, let's extend the main GUI class implementing an action listener. Let's prepare our action perform method with an action event AE. Now, let's create the main GUI constructor. Inside the constructor, create the anonymous class with a public void run in it. Inside the public void run, create a method named create GUI with an argument of 400, 350. Outside the main GUI method, create a private void create GUI method with a parameter of int width and int height. Let's set the properties of our JFrame by following along with the codes. If you want to program, notice that after logging in with the correct credentials, a new JFrame will pop up. After setting the properties of the JFrame in the create movie, let's call another method inside the public void run method to name that as add components. In the add components method below the create movie method, add the following components such as the J label, set its front, its bounds, and add it to the JFrame. After running the program, the label we created was successfully in the JFrame. Another components to be added are the J buttons. In this program, we have four different J buttons which are the following. Display accounts, create new account, edit an account, delete an account, and the logout button. For each button, set its balance, add an action listener since an action will happen after clicking it. And lastly, add it in the JFrame. Our button will look something like this after running the program. Now let's work on the action perform method. First is for us to declare a method named command to store the action event which is the button click. Then let's create the following conditions if the button is clicked. Take note that the command variable should contain the exact label you have placed in the J button. After doing it, let's add the dispose method in each of the conditions. As you can see, I have placed the comment of the following conditions. These comments will be commented out once we progress with our discussion. The idea behind this is to instantiate a new class and open that class after clicking the button. Let's work on first with the logout button. After clicking it, the JFrame that will show to the user is the login GUI that we have created earlier. Now let's run the program and see how it works. Now for the next video, we will be working on with the first button which is the display and accounts button.